north, Route 1, California. I'm going to a place called Glass Beach. It's a, uh, a beach, as if you couldn't guess, just north of Fort Bragg in Mendocino County. And uh, yeah, I, I saw some images of this beach. It looked very interesting. So I'm heading there myself and you know, maybe make a stop or two along the way, give myself plenty of time to scope and scout before sunset. This is shaping up to be pretty darn good. All right, this is completely contrast right now. I think I'm gonna nestle up in here. There's enough foreground interest. I can get close to the water's edge. Got this rock as a corner. I think I'll use that as a corner. And the way that the seaweed, glass, and rocks are all lining up here, that's good. But, uh, ooh, and that's gonna be the perfect kind of action I'm looking for. I'm fighting a battle with the tide. It's the tide's coming in. I'm not worried about the tripod, but all these cool stones and little bits of glass are all getting pushed around and it kind of, uh, it's kind of ruining the composition. And unfortunately, the tide is rising. And I still have a good, 45 minutes before uh, we get to golden hour. So I'm exploring a couple other compositions and uh, there's more of this stone and glass here, although it's marred by a lot more uh, kelp and seaweed. I may go out onto these rocks here and see about angling back across kind of this cove. So getting something along the lines of just the rocks and the sky but I do really want to have that surf line in the shot. I had to change up the vantage. The tide's picking up. It's covering up those pebbles and glass, and it's just not going to work out that way. So changed up to, uh, to stand up on this uh, platform of rock. That'll give me a, a dry place to work, which is a plus. But also, there are some good cracks and crevices in this rock, so it's letting me get some leading lines into the scene behind me. I don't think I'll be picking up the shoreline in this frame, but if I time my shot right, as the surf comes in, it will create that line on the left-hand edge of the frame. So uh, the uh, little bonus is kind of where it's getting all blown out behind me. As the sun starts to dip behind that rock, I've got an opportunity for a little starburst action going on there. So uh, time to get busy because the light is starting to, you can see, picking up and then quickly fading again as it sets behind a bank of several like strata of clouds. After the visit to Glass Beach, I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on it, quite honestly. Uh, why I'm mixed, I'll get there in a second. But the glass itself, you know, the draw of the beach, it didn't really do very much for me. Maybe it was I was there at the wrong tide, or, or maybe I just saw more in the photos that I'd seen online than what was really there. You know, we're photographers, we're pretty good at making things look really, really intriguing. But, you know, the, the patch of glass that I had to work with was small. The tide wasn't in my favor. And thankfully, the, you know, the flip side of this, you know, why uh, I have the mixed emotions, is on the hike in, I did make note of a reflecting pool that had, you know, just ocean water that had collected in an area of the rocks. And as I realized, I'm not just, I'm not gonna get the type of photo that I was hoping to get. I packed up the gear, ran over to that area, and captured a really nice sunset with some silhouetted figures, people taking in the, uh, the, uh, the evening. That was what I will remember from the visit. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to get started working on those, and hopefully you'll come back for in post later this week. I suspect you'll see one of those photos getting work done. And that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know somehow. Comments below are great. Got questions about photography? Hit me up. And if you want to keep it private, you can contact me through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.